As the sun sets to the west, the Coon Rapids girls soccer team gets ready to host Northwest Suburban Conference rival Totino Grace. And it's all live on CTN. Joe Young, Howie Shapiro, and Jerry Grant up in the booth as we get ready for game two of this soccer doubleheader. The Cardinals have uh, had their struggles this season, to say the least. They have, and, and Totino comes in as, as a challenge for the Cardinals, and they obviously love to get off the schneid and get a win here tonight with Coon Rapids. And, but uh, they, they've definitely been struggling. Well, key for them is, again, try to work on ball control, try to control the ball, make sure you play good defense, and yep. battle. I yep. mean, half of soccer is battling, winning 50-50 balls, and trying to make sure you're always recovering when you get beat. Just make it harder for the other team. Here we go. Well, to Tino Grace, just three wins, but only two losses, five ties so far this season. And uh, they are undefeated in their last five, going 2-0-3 oh, over that stretch. As we uh, get close towards uh, playoff time, just a couple of weeks remaining in the regular season, the Cardinals will close out their home schedule on Thursday when they take on St. Paul Johnson, and then they have a couple of road games uh, next week, and that'll be it. Yeah, if they could find a way to get a win um, or two between now and the, and the time section happens, they get an opportunity to get a little momentum. But uh, it's been, as you said, Joe, it's been a struggle. Yeah, oh, and 11 coming in. Yep. No, we've always talked about seniors and what they do for you, and there are not a lot of seniors nope. on this team. We, you saw. Un unfortunately, they they have a couple of stars that are definitely seniors. Yeah. So, the few that they have, their impact or loss will be uh, definitely felt. This is one of them right here. A long shot for. Sophia Backry, but right on the netminder. And she has no problem. Well, you saw the girls' program as well not too long ago. You know, they, they played against Blaine and also the program. And they, they've, they've had some growing pains. Mm -hmm. Well, they played a good game up to it, like, kind of like the boys. Yep. Got to a certain point, and then Blaine was able to put a couple goals in a row in a short time period and open it up. Backry getting in the way, getting a steal, and getting things turned upfield quickly. Pass was a little bit behind Addison Erickson, and Tatino quickly gets it turned back around. Maddie Smuck in the middle, taps it ahead for Fryden in close. She scores. And a very, very early lead for Titino Grace. Yeah, again, again, she just got behind the defense, did a good job of controlling the ball, and then puts it in the back of the net. Just the third minute. And just a great soft touch from Smuck. Fryden has time, settles it, spots it, and puts it home. Well, as you said, Joe, gets that early, early, early lead. Eagles trying to attack right away. Broken up, sent out of bounds by Maya Thomas. Leah Williams boots it away. That stops up by Munsinger. Coon Rapids gets it right back. Another steal this time for Liz Thompson. In the middle, Grace Cruz will give and go. It's out of her reach. Bounces away from Williams. Wide open net, and this one is sent in easily by Crystal Munsinger capitalizing on the Cardinal miscue. Well, Jerry, that's when your goaltender is being aggressive and it doesn't work out for her favor. Yeah, you just have to call that 
couple other player off and get the ball. And that's just a communication thing right yeah. there. It's like, okay, she does have it. And then, yeah, just got all mixed up in the middle of all that. And unfortunately, a Totino girl is right there yeah. in the net. Yeah, it doesn't get much easier than that. No. Already 2 nothing. Two goals just over a minute apart. And up 2 nil, less than three minutes into the contest. Yeah, you're already in a, in a big hole. And, that, you know, and when you're struggling like that, yes. it, it, it makes it, it compounds it. Well, and especially when it seems everything seems to bounce opposite yep. your favor. But, uh, yeah, clearly, you know, good pressure pays off to get goal one. And then, uh, you know, just, again, getting bodies in the right spot, capitalizing on the Cardinal miscue, jumping out to that 2-0 lead. That one skips off the foot of Fryden. LeClaire... Had it knocked off her foot. Bailey Rower recovers. She had it stripped away by Fryden. Gets it ahead for Cruz. She's bumped off it, but no call. Rowe will boot it back ahead. That stopped up. And early on, Tatino doing a nice job of transition. They stop it up. They get it right back to they their... Do. Uh, forwards and, and get right back to work. Yep, they are definitely using the middle of the field to push it wide, build their attack, and it's working. That time uh, she couldn't keep the ball in bounds. Pushed it head down at the left wing for Cardinals. That shot blocked. Another shot attempt blocked and finally cleared away by Faith Zernicki. Yeah, that, was, that was a good opportunity there. Moved the ball down nicely. Got some shot opportunities. Fryden again working across the field. Sends it ahead for Cruz. Cruz in a foot race, taps it to the corner. Good job holding the edge by Maya Thomas, but forced to play it out the end line. It'll be a corner kick upcoming for Titino Grace. There's head coach Matt Thibodeau. You can tell the offense goes through Cruz. She's doing a nice job tonight yep. controlling the ball. Well, and that was another another situation where almost got behind the defense again, where they were looking for that third goal of the evening. Served into the middle, that oh. bodied off the post, and Williams able to dive on top of it. Yeah, she but had a great a angle off the body. I didn't see who it was. Well, she had a quickly pounce on that ball because it hit, as you said, it hit that corner. Yeah, it was kind of a yeah. shoulder check. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I wonder if that could have been a handball. Sometimes you use your arm as a propellant. Right. But it, it wasn't even the, I would argue that was a shoulder. Yeah, shoulder. She kept her arm in. Well, the it's a solid check. The referees agreed with you. Yeah. <laughs> Either way, it uh, it banked off the post. It was very close to being successful. Yes. Just get your body in the way and try and redirect it. That's the name of the game. And, if they're going to call you, they're going to call you. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, great effort. It went off the post, and Aaliyah Williams, fortunately for Coon Rampant, able to dive on it and keep us at 2-0. Bakri using some speed to get between a couple of defenders and then stopped up by Katie Thomas. And quickly back on the attack come the Eagles. Cruz. Working in between a couple of Cardinal defenders. Her pass a little too long for Fryden. Taken away by the Cardinals. Hey, 
Streeper into the corner. Working against Caitlin Griffith. Griffith able to force her to lose it out of bounds. Couple of cups of substitutions for Coon Rapids. Well, Coon Rapids needs to get the ball to Bakri more because she's the one making things happen. Dally Alphins throw in over the top of the Cardinals and quickly put back into play by Tatino Grace. The shot from Smuck blocked down. Cardinals not able to get it clear. Bakery gets it back. Down into the corner, Stegman gets there for the Cardinals. Rao in the middle, long pass. Taken away and finally forced out of bounds. Last touched by Yang Win. Good anticipation by Thompson. He read that pass coming across and stepped into it. Stole the ball. Well, they're doing just a really nice job, obviously, with possession down on the Cardinal end. The Cardinal's really not getting, able to get anything generated. This so one played back into the corner. Stopped up by Callie Alfin. She's run over, and that will draw the whistle. And Callie had a couple of goals early in the season. Uh, was playing up on the attack in the Rogers contest, clearly playing on the back end, trying to help solidify the Cardinals defense. We saw, especially through the first five, six games of this season, not only with Cardinals struggling to score, but they were giving up far too many goals. They have played better defensively over the last couple of weeks. Did get the three goals against Becker, unfortunately, ended up losing that one by a 4-3 score. I hear Becker came all the way back to get some in the end yep. and win the game. That's, yep. That's too bad. Well, you just need to find a way to get more possession. Tatino is controlling controlling the game right oh, in there. They, using that play right there a lot. They really are. I mean, granted, only, what, 11 minutes have gone by, but they have control. Yep. Middle, ball middle, look to the wing, push it behind the defense, run it down. It works. When you talk about, you know, Cardinals, a, a young team, uh, the four seniors, though, are, are big pieces. Bailey Rouse, Sophia Bakri, we've talked about both of them a lot already uh, this evening. Tessa Del Frat, the third captain, and Caitlin Griffith are the four seniors. So they will lose some, they some will. significant pieces, but uh, when you look at the names and the and the amount of uh, experience they will return, uh, they should be a much improved team next season. However, before we get to that point, those seniors don't want to give up quite yet. You still got no, a half you, a dozen you do. uh, games or a handful anyway, uh, games in the regular season, and anybody can win in the playoffs. That's true. Theoretically. Yeah. Theoretically. Another corner kick opportunity, and they do not get it, turn it into a good scoring chance. Guess we have a goal kick there. Is it? I thought that went off the top Hit of the, the uh, craft, right? Yep. You know, if that is an in swinger, it apparently swung in just right. It did. Just a little too tall. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was close. A through ball again. And numbers in deep. 
the deep cross knocked down and covered up by Aaliyah Williams. Yeah, Williams that time just uh, re making sure she reached out and let that ball get through. Yeah, she's going to have to take control of that 18 box because they're definitely trying to get to the wing and cross it in the middle. So she'll just have to start reading those plays and do what she did there. Yep. In the meantime, Coon Rampers needs to find a way to get down into the uh, Totino end. Yeah, just not controlling the ball. Another great chance this time. Swan in a shot that is going to trickle wide and turn into a goal kick. I mean, they're just dominating the, the uh, possession here. Yeah, it's been on the Coon Rapids half of the field for yep. the majority of this half. Emmy Swan just using her speed to get wide on that left side. And just sending it just wide back to the far post. And again, Coon Rapids can't even get to midfield. Tatino getting it turned around. Another good chance. A diving save by Williams. Yeah, Williams has kept him in on a couple of uh, shot attempts. Yeah, that was a nice save there. Full extension of her body and her hands are out there where they need to be to deflect that ball. Grace Cruz with some space. Gets a good strike on the ball and it was going just <laughs> inside that post. Williams, as you mentioned, full extension, got a fingertip on it and that was enough. Too much time in the midfield was really a problem. Stepping up is Yang Win. She settles, has a little bit of room. Near side, Sophia Bakri had to come back to it. Bakri with Yang Win running over the top. She has it along the sideline, her pass taken away. In the middle is Fryden. She's commanded that offense a lot of this first half for Tatino Grace. Pass to the back corner was intercepted. Cardinals get it turned around, but only so far before Caitlin Burstad stops it up and gets to Tino. Jerry Cardinals. Back in control. Sorry, Joe. Jerry, the Cardinals having trouble putting passes together. I mean, yeah, they make one or two, but then they turn the ball over. Tatino then right yep. away starts their attack on the counter and they move it fast. They do. They've made a pick twice already. Mm-hmm. And that's the hardest thing about soccer now as you know it just to continue to make when you watch the european league the sure. premier league and all that they're just so skilled they hold the ball and they can move it around for five minutes straight without right. giving it up but here when you give up the ball in high school soccer a lot of times the teams like to turn it right on you right away and then put you on the defensive by shooting the ball behind your defense or whatever it might be to you know, get you get you running around here they are across in deep. This time the Cardinals are ready for it. Bailey Rao got it cleared, and this pass is going to go wide out of bounds. Well, we talked about that earlier as, uh, you know, how quickly they are transitioning from stopping up the Cardinal rush and turning it, it back into their offense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they do it pretty seamlessly. Just like we saw in the boys game earlier today, the uh, Totino players eventually figured out how they could get that ball behind the Cardinal right. defense and it, it worked for a couple of goals. It did. <clears throat> definitely did. It's the name of the game, cat and mouse. When are you going to figure out how to get the ball behind them? See, Totino loves that diagonal pass to the corner. Well, if you got speed on the wing, yeah. It takes your advantage of this one a little bit too much, and Williams is able to get it. That's that, that exactly what Williams needs to do. Yep. Control her 18 yard yep. box and take that play away. Fryden again steps up, gets a steal, and resets this offense. Back to Cruz on the near side. In the corner, Rao pressuring. This one's going to come back to Cruz. 
Pass taken away by Yang Wen. Rao can't step around Cruz. Broken up by Bakri, who gets it back near midfield and across. Yeah, they just can't generate anything at this point. Yeah, Patino moving that ball around, went all the way from our side to the far side. Three passes, so they're, they're doing a good job switching fields. Controlling the ball. Again, moving it back, regrouping, controlling. Line in the midfield. Yeah, you know, they, they spread, they're spread out so well. They're able to give the Cardinals fits in, in terms of fitting into space. Swan battling, getting behind the defense, but Williams able to jump on top of the loose ball. At that time, Swan tried to push it in front to herself a little bit too much on it. That one rolled into Williams. Good thing. She had a lot of opening there. Yep. Crossing the midway point of this first half. Two very early goals by Tatino Grace in the third and fourth minutes from Camille Fryden and Krista Munsinger, respectively. Munsinger is just on a Cardinal turnover that left her with a wide open net. Anytime the player can essentially start to adjust their shin pads and, and uh, shoes before the ball crosses the net is a, or it crosses the goal line is is a goal that was maybe a little too easy. Definitely so. Oh, well, we've seen a couple of easy goals. Well, and Coon Rapids, I, again, just hasn't had an opportunity to sniff anything in the attacking third of the field. This is about their deepest penetration so far. And you see there's three players in black and seven in white right in that corner there. Yeah, they, they surround her, not let her get uh, get any opportunity for a look. Yep, so you go back. I was going to say, then they got to push it back. There's oh, that's player. Brindley Wold over there, just an eighth grader getting some varsity time. They've got a couple eighth graders who do. There you go. Long Good shot strike. in for Sophia Packery, relatively easy save for Kate Mulligan. But the key there is they actually found her open right. in the midfield and used the pass. That was nice. And got a shot on goal. Yes. Yeah. And a, and a solid one. Turning in the middle is Hemi Swan. She's pressured there by her opposite number, Angelina LeClaire. Rao to stop it up, Bakri to push it ahead. Skips free and dancing through the middle is Callie Alfin. Alfin tried to get the corner and could not. It will come back to her. Gets it back to Bakri. Bakri. Find some space, long shot. Mulligan will move over and make the save. Yeah, well, that's progress. Backry with some 30 yard shots. Well, yeah, work shot. up to 20, 18, it'd be nice. Yeah, you want to try and obviously get it in a little bit closer to make a relatively easy save for yeah. the goaltender when you're shooting it from that far out. But the key is they're finding her and in their space. And they're getting shots off. Yes. Yeah. Yang Wynn steps up, gets that steal, gets it back for Bailey Rao. Rao will step up and attack down the right wing. For Callie Alphen, trying a little give and go, didn't get the touch she wanted. Rao still battling for it. Alphen comes in to support, gets the takeaway, and gets speed to the corner. She will try to angle it in, but ends up sending it high and wide. Hey, it's been a good last five minutes for they, the they Cardinals. Really they're had they're some attacking, pressure. they're yep. moving up front, they're making some good reads. Hey, Coach uh, Ben Benson. Sporting the Tar Heels hat. 
Talked about Kelly just a few minutes ago that she was playing on the back end. Now, clearly back up front. Mm -hmm. Always good to have versatile pieces. You see Sophia Bakri back there doing uh, double duty for the Cardinals as well. Bailey Rao trying to get around the corner, lost it out of bounds. She was pressured there by Robinson, Grace Cruz. Yeah. Cruz and Robinson pinned her in there. Or Audrey Robinson, yeah. Eagles trying to change fields. Olivia Lahr, another eighth grader over there for the Cardinals back on that left side. Played through the middle. Cardinals able to win the race. Griffith able to get the clear. But out the end line, so another corner coming up in this first half for the Tatino Grace team with a 2-0 lead. Yeah, you can see the time approaching the 15-minute mark and mm -hmm. looking to see if they can up that lead before they get into the break. Yeah. That was a good recovery by the Cardinal defender there. Yeah. She had a person that had the inside track on her but was able to cut her off. Liz Thompson. Serving it right into the middle, and Aaliyah Williams is there to snag it. Yeah, good job there by Williams. Yeah, just being aggressive, making sure you go after the ball, and yeah. she did. Which is the goaltender's job on yep. any corner kick. You're the one that's going to try to get that ball. Yep. Stegman in the middle. Pushes it wide for Wold. Wold. <laughs> Some room to run. Into the middle, Callie Alfin. Trying to split a couple of defenders, ended up having it knocked away. Wold continues to pressure against Ailey Streeper. Stepped on the ball there, unfortunately. And then a long ball that gets behind the Cardinal defense. The numbers for the Eagles, but the shot just going wide to the far side. <laughs> Oh, she she had a trail she had a trailer all alone in the middle and she decided yeah, she Amy was Swan gonna, had yeah. no idea I don't think that she that she had, had a, teammate. a teammate with her yeah because if she did she would have fed her the ball and uh, it would have had a much better opportunity At the same time I think she saw that side of the net yep. so there's so much room and I still missed it <laughs> Alfin put a little too much on that one. It zips out of bounds on the far side over the head of Jenica Erickson. Yet another eighth grader getting time for the Cardinals. At the varsity level, they have four or five that have well played throughout the year, gotten well, some time, and so. Great experience. Yep, there's nothing like playing. There you go, push it wide, keep attacking. That should be a foul. Yeah, it is. Is that in the 18? Uh, in it, yeah. Definitely, if not, it was definitely close. Oh, right on the on edge. On the edge. Yep. Going to put it just outside. I think. I think that was clearly inside yeah, the box, well, but they not in position down there to see exactly where it was. We'll see it here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I got you got to give him credit. That trip was exactly where he put the ball right. just Very outside good. the corner of the Very 18. Good. So good on you. Oh, right at the top nice. of the bar. Nice try. Yep. Just off the crossbar and Sophia Bakri taking yep. the shot. But it was the two for, uh, eighth graders, Jenica Erickson, fed it to Brindley Wold. And she's the one that drew the foul in deep got herself behind the defense got tripped up and then back a strong shot but off the crossbar out of play yeah. and Bakery, the Cardinals still at 2 nil back has been noticeable whenever the ball's around her she makes something happen round near midfield stopping up 
out off of Katie Correa Flores. But right back out, and it'll be a Tatino throw. Oh, I've seen a little bit of life out of the Cardinal offense here. Yeah. Recently, and that's that's a good thing. But they got to be able to uh, mount, mount some goals too. Yeah, that would help, but hopefully they can keep playing this way the rest of the game. Correct. And they'll have a good result. Yep. Tatino using speed down the right wing. I think this is Ellen Cliff trying to get around the corner. Now she does, plays it out front. Just unable to control the pass at the top of the box. This is Maddie Smuck. Smuck started the first goal. Her pass inside broken up by LeClaire. And back come the Cardinals. Alfred sends it to Stegman. Nope, excuse me, that is uh, Wold. She had it taken off her foot. Cleared back in deep. Williams waiting for it and <laughs> just barely got into the box in front of Grace Cruz. It's a night for uh, big club casts. Yeah, we've, we've, seen, we've seen them on both, uh, both boy, for boys and for girls. Well, and Gold Branson's, that thing is a mess. It's, yeah. a, it's a big one. Like a, I assume that it's something that he wears over the actual cast for wh just when he's playing. Right. Can't imagine yeah, it's that like big a, all the time. It almost looks like they, what they use in highlight. <laughs> right. <Ouch. laughs> it's got that curve it, at the end. And what, what do they call it? I mean, is it a highlight racket? I, I think I know it's a high. Is it a shoe? Could be the stats department on that. I think it might be a stick, but basket because technically it is also a, a basket. Yep. This one played in behind the defense again. A chance for Correa Flores gets around Rao. Williams comes out, charges, takes the ball away, but Correa Flores stayed with it. Rao able to block it and then it's cleared off of Correa Flores out the end line and it'll be a goal kick and Williams right on the knee. A little nicked up after that uh, contact. It is called a basket, Joe. Oh, there you go. It is a basket. It is a basket. There you go. Williams did her job. She came out and challenged that and denied a goal. Oh, she was it's fortunate that. Uh, defensively. Yeah. Picked it up and got it out of bounds. And the kneecap's not a thing you want to have no. kicked. Cleat marks. She's been playing well. I'm sure she is. Yeah, looks like Best in the business. Jeremy Shepard. Jeremy Shepard out to take care of her. And there you see it. Oh, yeah. Cleat to the uh, right knee as she was stepped on by Correa Flores. Crashing after the ball. Yeah. Well, she's coming over for. I think she, she's going to have to. And we have a second goalkeeper going in. It's too bad. Well, he's been playing very well yeah, this half has. here. After the two goals went in, which really weren't much of her fault, they, uh, she's made some saves. Not sure who their backup goalkeeper is. We'll get to. Stats department on it. And yeah. Figure it out. I got a, t I got a telegram sent. Telegram. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got to test her right away. <laughs> yes, we've now dated ourselves. We're not quite that old. But. Telegram. <laughs> telegram from Mr. Shapiro. It's from the soccer stat department. <laughs> Okay. Oh boy. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Dee, 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 dee. <laughs> Western so Union. We, you know, it's uh, the sound, so effect easy. The sound effect department's right on that. Hot off the breath. It's so easy to get us off track. <laughs> oh yeah, just be kidding.
Coon Rapids, we talked about, had had a couple of good chances, had a spurt there, five, six minutes where, where they put a, a bit more pressure on, had a couple of shots on goal, spent a little more time down in this they end. Did. They need to spend the last few minutes here down nice, at that end. It was they a hustle can. play. Nice try there. Yep. Madison Erickson, just a sophomore. Yeah. And again, you, you know, we talk about the four that they'll lose are big pieces, but you've got girls like Callie Alfin, a, a sophomore, Addison Erickson, a sophomore. We talked about uh, the f the five eighth graders that, that are, have gotten uh, playing time uh, at the varsity level uh, so far this year. Uh, really only one freshman, that's Caitlin Greenwald, uh, but uh, Erilyn Yang Wynn is also a sophomore. Maya Thomas also a sophomore. Uh, these are all girls that we have seen uh, throughout the course of the season. Uh, the keeper, Aaliyah Williams, is a junior, so okay. uh, at least one more year yep. uh, there as well. Uh, obviously still a very long way to go, but uh, but they, they are going, going to come back next year with much more experience than they started with this year. Well, that's the key because, you know, you want to be able to develop that experience and then come back when you're in your junior or senior years and, and show what, you, what you've learned and how you've grown. Right, Coach Grant? That's correct. And it all starts with the off season. Yep. Lifting weights, getting faster. Well, and you talk about no, nothing replaces play. And, and most of, of these girls play club soccer in the off season. It's always seemed very curious to me how little they play with one another in the club level because so many girls play at different club right. levels, different club yep. teams at yep. different parts of the Metro, may see teammates uh, that they play against one another, uh, may not see anybody from their own team all off season mm -hmm. long. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it makes it harder, in my opinion, to build that chemistry that is and, and, that, and work on that communication, yeah. which is such a huge part of possession in any team sport, yeah. right? Knowing where each other are, Trying to figure out exactly what uh, type of routes you like to run. And well, I mean, you, you just witness it there that the play on the wing that Totino does, it's yeah. the communication and the and, and the practice together that they've learned that this is where we're going to be. And yeah. It gets their to, offense going. Yeah. It's open. They run it all the time. Yep. And you got to take it away. Then they'll probably run it on this side of the field. The goalkeeper has no number on her jersey, which is not. It's not out surprising, of the yeah. uh, you know, for, for goalkeepers. Uh, there are a couple on the JV roster that do not list a number, but you know, she could be any of those three. Okay. We're, we're well, narrowing know, it or down. four or five. There are five of them without any number. It's good the telegraph came in. Aaliyah well, Williams. Yeah, but there's nothing on it. That's the problem. Ran out of ink. Mr. Spiro. Aaliyah Williams is on the roster as number one, and her jersey does say number one. Right. So I would I would just like to be able to give her credit as uh, not quite sure who that is. And fortunately for the Cardinals, Correa Flores had to slow down and wait for the bouncing ball because she was behind the defense. Mm -hmm. yeah, good recovery run by all three defenders, though, to cut her off at the end. But they're definitely trying to shoot the ball behind the defense an awful lot. Yeah, and it's so it's so much easier to to play in a game, especially I assume on the road, mm -hmm. uh, if you get too early. Oh, absolutely! Right. It just changes the the whole tenor of the game. Well, yeah, and they've been able to play loose uh, and comfortable uh, since the very early going. Because again, on on the board twice in the first four minutes. Yeah, you know, immediately put pressure on a struggling team, and that's the last thing that the uh, the Cardinals needed here. Exactly. to struggle within the first four minutes because all of a sudden you're in a 2-0 hole and when you're having when you're having issues in your season it uh, just compounds it mm -hmm. yeah it puts a lot of pressure on you because you're trying to fight through that but you know oh my here we are again we're behind and then it, it could take some energy away yep. too. but to their credit they've played very well since then cross to the back post but well defended cleared away 
Eagles continue to pressure. Coon Rapids finally able to get a little bit more distance, but Streeper regains control. Can't turn as easily as she might have liked against Brindley Wold. Jenica Erickson checking back in. There you see the time remaining, two and a half minutes in this opening half. Mm -hmm. and Eagle's been holding that 2-0 lead since uh, right in the beginning of the game. And Coon Rapids wouldn't mind keeping it at least 2-0, 2-1 would be better. Well, I'll tell you, if they could get a goal, that would, uh, still not that would bad. lift a lot of spirits. Considering the start, 2-0 yep. and a half, not bad. Nope. Yeah. And, and, oh, yeah, and, absolutely, Jerry. And also with, with how much uh, Tatino has controlled the ball. Rao trying to work back out of the danger zone. Intercepted, though, by Grace Cruz. Trying to send it into the corner. That was taken away. Pressuring it continues oh, to pay man. off and a huge save by the mystery in goalie. Close by mystery I think goalie. shot by Krista Munzinger looking for her second. Boy, she is calm, cool, and collected, just yeah. like a goaltender should be, I suppose. But uh makes a big save. Yeah, very nice. And the look on her face is ain't none but a thing. Do it all the time practice. None but a thing. There you go. How bad touched them. Leads to a penalty against Tatino Grace, though. Coon Rapids will have a free kick from a relatively dangerous spot, about 35 yards out, dead center. Well, let's see if you can run a play here. We'll get some players up there. It's only three players up on the front. And three by the ball, so by a side pass would work. So we cross under a minute to go. Backry goes direct oh, off the crossbar. Long rebound back into play. This one booted by Tatino okay. back toward their net. And fortunately for them, Kate Mulligan is able to grab on. Boy, yeah. she hammered Barry that. Has she a did. Good, has a good shot. Oh. Close. Not missed by much. That would have been nice. That would have been sweet. It's as close as you can come without actually scoring. It is. The old post is the old goalie's friend, right? Well, and it was already, you could tell by the trajectory of the uh, ball, it was arcing down. Uh, it was on its way just over the keeper, just couldn't quite get back underneath another, the crossbar. Another two feet. But that is going to take us to the end of the first half. Tatino Grace with two early goals. They have a 2-0 lead. We will take a break. Be back with the second half after this. You're watching live girls high school soccer on CTF. Back at the Cardinals Sports Complex. Tatino Grace scoring two early goals in just the third minute of play. Uh, Camille Fryden got in behind the defense. And Aaliyah Williams a little bit late on the charge. And then just over a minute later, they capitalized on a, on a Cardinal miscue as Williams comes out to take this one and a little miscommunication with Thomas ends up booting it right to Crystal Munsinger. Munsinger had a wide open net uh, to send it into and then a couple other good chances down the stretch. They spent a fair amount of time in the attacking third, uh, but they came up empty the rest of the way. Cardinals defending a bit better, getting some good goaltending as well uh, to keep it at a 2-0 score. You know, and I thought, too, you know, they had some chances, guys. Right. They just weren't able to put anything in. Mm -hmm. And 
Ibakri had three nice nice shots and hopefully she'll get some more and get a little tighter to the goal. She might be able to get one here on the second half. And Aaliyah Williams is not returning no. to the net. Oh, that's not good. No. And he, except that as, as we talked about during the break, uh, this mystery keeper. Right. Who may or may not be Xaveria Bonifacius. Uh, is uh, has played well, so maybe it's an opportunity to just uh, get somebody else a, an opportunity to get a little bit of that experience. We talked so much about uh, you know how young this team is and how much experience they will be able uh, to return next year. But uh, Callie Alfin getting forced all the way down deep into that corner by Zaley Streeper turns it back to the middle, trying to get some distance back. Bakri gets it ahead and here comes Brindley Wold Wold middle of the field sending it ahead one touch back to the middle and Tatino Grace able to break it up here they come ball through ball outside yeah now Cruz was definitely a step behind the defense now we saw a fair amount of that in the first half with Tatino Grace doing a good job of getting behind the Cardinal defense yeah, and trying to make things happen, especially early in that first half. They were able to do that a couple of times. And Cardinals would like a score. They would. Yeah. At this point. Caitlin Griffith puts the boot to it. Cardinals back into the attacking end. Wall down the near wing. Backry over to support. Ends up out the end line. Both teams will make their case, and it will become a goal kick. That's too bad. That was a good run. Had two good players. Yeah. Quite spread it out the way they needed to to make the shot happen, but that's more like it. Keep it down on this end. Yang Win coming back to it for the Cardinals. Back for Stegman, back to Yang Win. Touches around a defender, re-carries. Trying to get it into the middle, had Erickson in there. Cardinals able to keep it in deep. Continue to pressure, back re into the left corner. Looking for some help. Gets it back to Wold. Wold can't get that one all the way through. Eagles able to clear. Alphen steps up. Runs into more white jerseys, and here come the Eagles again. And they have speed behind the defense, yeah. and Streeper was offside. Side again, thank goodness. Yeah. <laughs> but she was running to the corner. I think they could have recovered in time. Yeah, that plenty of opportunity there, but won't matter. Nope. Let's see here. Looking, when is the ball? Okay, yep, she's definitely yeah. off. Well, then again, the person way on the far side was close. Yep. That's it. Good pressure, don't let her turn. Yep, get her go backwards. Alfred. The backside of the Cardinal formation here to start the second half. More pressure in the midfield. Keep there. You can always somebody on the ball. That's more like it right there, Howie. Yep. Don't let her turn. That's fundamental soccer. Right. But again, you know, that's. But that there is Olivia Lar. 14 is Erickson. It was a, or no, sorry, 14 is Caitlin Griffith. So she's one of the few seniors, but Lar, one of those eighth graders we've been talking about. Callie Alfin overstepped the ball. She's just a sophomore. Back to near side, Brindley Wold, also an eighth grader. Yeah, again, nice to get these young players in. Alvin just being a sophomore, she'll be a leader on this squad for a number of years to come. And pressure causes it to be out of bounds. 
Jordan Bashar. Ah, there we there go. Our we have player is solved. Thanks, to Tom. Tommy, Tommy G. Going. Tommy G. Class of '73. Oh, and you know what? You know what grade uh, Jordan Bashaw is in? Eighth. That is correct. Well, Another eighth grader. Oh, good. That's a good nucleus of kids. Just get some playing time, and by the time they're seniors, they can make some things happen. Oh, good ball. Good recovery, a good save by Bashaw, oh. but the rebound tapped into a wide open net. That's unfortunate. Yep. Munsinger getting her yep. second of the night, yep. and it's a 3 0 lead. Is it Bashaw did her job. She made the save, but just didn't have help on the back post. You know, it's unfortunate, too. If the Cardinals would be able to cut the lead in half, uh, you know, maybe this is a little different here, but, you know, she got a hand on it, but nobody there yeah. from Coon Rapids to get in the way. An easy goal for her just to tap in. Yeah. Can't, the goalie can't make two saves down there like no. that. One is excellent. Goal comes in the 46th minute of play and increases the Eagles' lead to 3 0. They regain possession right off the Cardinal kick and we're starting to build, but it's broken up by Sophia Bakri down into the attacking third. Jenica Erickson in the corner trying to work her way out. But Played out of yeah, bounds. So as you saw, how many defenders did they have there, Howie? They had two. The good old one, two. One, beat two one. Punch. There's a second one. Nope. Not going to beat her, usually. Nope does uh, make it much more difficult when there are always more than one defender between yeah. the ball and the goal. Good support. It's good, good coaching, good playing. Streeper down the near side, building with Cruz. Gets it back. Cruz calling for it in the corner. And she will get there. She's got help out front. She is going to cross. Munsinger would have been looking for the hat trick. Oh, and she had the opportunity, but a good good job defensively just to push it away. Oh, that's not Munsinger. I apologize. That's uh, Frieden in the middle. Would have been looking for her second. Spins and shoots, oh, and no. she's going to get her second anyway. And that one just slowly trickled between the legs of Bashaw and made it 4-0. Yeah, she just misplayed that and let it get through, through the wickets. It and looks, again, two goals like just over just over uh, a minute apart yep. from Munsinger and Fryden. Yep. There's Fryden first and then Munsinger in the first. Oh, that's and in the second, yeah. it was Munsinger followed by Fryden. Yep. And you saw Bashaw yeah. as soon as it got past mm -hmm. her knew, oh, I should have had that. Well, now she knows that uh, she won't do that again. That's how you learn. She didn't uh, do the fundamentals and get down there and corral that ball. <laughs> Eagles once again just building their way back upfield. Not afraid to go backwards. Burstad gets a restarted, trying to cross and change fields to the left side. Zernike, long boot to the corner. Kelly Alfin there first. Pressure is coming, and she will hold it off nicely and get around Streeper. Get past Fryden. Finally tipped away from her by Maddie Smuck, but Alfin recovers. Trying to boot it through the middle. That stopped up. Jenica Erickson plays it to the far side. Too far for Yang Win out of bounds. Cardinals just need to try to get it, get that goal. And just keep working towards building an attack, getting a chance. Well, and it, uh oh, another That's opportunity. Outside. I was going to say that one yeah. appeared to be <laughs> well like, offside. Waiting for the that flag time. to come up like that. That's really offside. Yep. Cruz is eager. She's been behind the defense a couple of times <laughs> and been whistled for being in early. <laughs> but uh, you know, it, it's. A tough season when you haven't had a victory. Yep. Uh, it can be a little bit more moralizing when uh, you start to get numbers run up on you. But when you look at this game, you, you step back. Really, 
it's two minutes in the first, two minutes so far here in the second, yep. Yep. where things got away from them. Outside of that, they've played you know, almost 50 minutes. You take those four minutes away, and uh, that's 45 minutes of solid soccer that they've played head to head, even up yeah. against the Eagles. And that's how you have to look at it. And then you have to go back and say, okay. Long shot, Bashaw able to knock it down. And how do we? Cardinals able to clear. How do we get rid of those four minutes? That's well, that's the, the pro step. that's the problem, and then that's that's kind of been the the issue all season long. Is you know one goes in and the other one goes like, in. Like like the, like the game you did, where you yeah. talked about the fact they played well in the beginning, yeah. and then all of a sudden it's the floodgates open. Yeah. And how do you bounce back and not allow uh, that second goal to come so quickly on the heels of one? Because both goals mm -hmm. uh, scored within 90 seconds. Uh, you know, both goals scored in pa all four goals, I should say scored in pairs with the second coming less than 90 seconds after the first. Well, that is the challenge for this team the rest of the way out. Well, they look at uh, Thursday, they got St. Paul Johnson coming in maybe a little bit easier squad, right. a team uh, that's that's not used to facing the same level of competition, maybe, maybe not Gonna gonna play as as quickly or as strong as as most of the uh, conference teams the Cardinals have been so used to facing, but well, a win would go a long way. Uh, even even if there's one win, it's just uh, you, you, you so you don't want to offer for the season. No, that's, that's hard on the kids and the yeah. kids coming back and you know, build build the program and then part of that is you got to win some games. Exactly. Bakri went knee to knee with a defender there and immediately went down. Hopefully she's not too badly hurt. Yeah, she seems to be able to Put get up and get off on her own power. Yeah, those, Significant those, limp, clearly. Yeah, those don't feel very good. No padding there. Uh, definitely not. Good step up there by LeClaire. Get things turned around for the Cardinals. Down the wing comes Wold. <laughs> Maya Thomas working against Cruz. Cruz able to step over. Get it ahead to Fryden down the right wing. Tracked down and turned around nicely. It's Caitlin Greenwald, the lone freshman on the roster. So yeah, a lot of youth gaining experience for the next several years. Thomas up to challenge and get a takeaway in a dangerous spot. Wold able to clear it back upfield. Stopped up. And the Eagles will reset the offense just on the Cardinals side of midfield. Well, you look at Totino, they have seven seniors, so not a huge number, but more still than fair the Rabbits, yeah. Rao able to out battle a couple of Eagles. Get this one cleared ahead. Erickson settles and gets Wold down the wing. Wold able to catch up with it. Tipped away out of bounds by Caitlin Brewstead. That's better. Good, good passing sequence. Found the player streaking down the wing to open space. Got the ball there. Yep. Run down and keep it moving this way. I just got to get your offense on track a little bit more. Yes, try, try to get those shots again. That's the key. Pressure the goaltender. There's it be intense try to win that ball.
left ankle. Continue to battle. Greenwald was the last to stop it up. Cruz will play it back. Wold being a pest. Beautifully done. Like it. Good Forcing pressure. the play out of bounds. So that's what you do right there. Caitlin Griffith checking back in. Long throw into the corner. Griffith will get there. Able to stop it up, then had to take it away by Fryden. Bailey Rao comes over to win it back. Lost it out of bounds. Sorry, that was Kelly Alfin. That one lost out the end line. It'll be a goal, uh, corner kick upcoming. No, we haven't had one of those for a while. No. Bring a few more players up. Something brought up. Eight. Thompson will handle the kick out of the near corner. High to the middle, oh. deflected in. It'll be Katie Thomas. One of the Eagles captains getting the redirect and putting her team up by five. Well, Jerry, when you get numbers in front of the net like that, it's uh, it's pretty much uh, mm -hmm. a it's pretty it's pretty much a uh, given goal. That's that's how you do it. You get in there, try to block the goal keep, keep her out, and then And again, right back into possession and starting to build in the offensive end. Well, this is when it's hard. When you're, you're down 5 0, you have 20 plus minutes to go. You just have to play like it's 0 0. I know it's a cliche, but that's what you have to do. You just have to keep going. You got to play for something positive. Yeah. You got to make something positive happen because right now, nothing's positive uh, about the Cardinals game here. I mean, they have played in some spots. Yeah. But well in some spots, but not well enough to, to put the, the uh, ball in the yeah. back of the net. Yeah, the last 25 minutes of the first half, they played pretty well. Yep, they did. Yeah, but then the second half came out, started okay, and then I gave up those two, two goals. quick goals. Yep. And now it's, now it's really tough. Yep. It certainly is. But the clock keeps running in soccer, so haven't had any much worry about injury time. Nope. I've never even really seen that in high school. Frightened will come off. She's had a nice game. A couple of goals. Yeah, they don't have a ton of subs on the Totino bench. They do not. So everybody gets to play. Thomas's corner is headed away by the Cardinals on defense. That was Erickson, I believe, getting up to get ahead on it. Takeaway by Emmy Swan in the midst of a bunch of Cardinal players. She ends up losing it out of bounds. Goal kick upcoming. Well, good thing because Swan's been zipping in there numerous times tonight, and she's had some good opportunities with her speed. Well, yeah, she really has, and, and you know, especially in that first half, they had those opportunities and using that speed on the wing. And again here, in the second. And again, right off a Cardinal corner. Quick stop and turn around for Tatino Grace. And then this is out the end line and another 
corner kick upcoming. You saw what happened the last time they had a corner kick. Katie Correa Flores checking in for Tatino Grace. Krista Munsinger out. Munsinger also a pair of goals in this contest for the Eagles. Corner kick served across the top. Tress tracked down in the near corner by the Eagles, trying to play it back to the middle. That stopped up. Yang Win into the corner. Her pass up was denied. Cruz turning with it with patience into the corner. Cliff sending it out front, but she was offside. So a free kick for the Cardinals as we approach the midway point of this second half. Blue Rapids again just needs to keep, keep playing, try to find something, get some passes together, try to get down the other end of the field. Tatino hasn't pinned in right now. No, they have not been doing that tonight for the, for the most part. Well, and, and I go back to what Jerry's talking about. The last half of the first half, yes. uh, they, di they did play better. They, they exchanged they did. some scoring chances, had more possession and offensive zone time. Uh, here in the second half, though, they Eagles have really just kept them completely locked up. No, that's, that's the thing is that the, in the second half, they haven't really been able to generate anything. And, you know, now falling behind by five makes it even more difficult, puts a little more pressure on them. But you just want to try and get some positives. You know, Tatino has found a way to control the game. Yep. They've, they've figured out, okay, we're going to keep using our midfielders in the gap and then push the ball wide and get to our speed. And they're doing a good job at it. Yeah, they really are. Well, they've been on a hot streak, so you can see why. They've yep. been coming together as a team. Looked like Cruz had lost that out of bounds, but they ruled that Thomas must have tipped it away from her out. Sophia Bakri checking back in. Well, that's good. good to see yep, that absolutely. after uh, she went out limping a bit and grabbing at her knee after the knee to knee contact. Erickson pushing it ahead. Yang Wynn forces her way through a defender. She leads the rush, has teammates with her. Cardinals have numbers, but a good step up and stop. And Tatino Grace has it going back their direction once more. Emmy Swan cutting back out of the left corner. Cruz fires and scores, and that makes it 6-0. Yeah, well, that's that's the yeah. difference. What Tatino did at the end was able to find the open player. The Cardinals had a nice opportunity on a run, but the defenders closed down, right. and there was just no way to put the ball to the open player. Like Garrett Cruz, a nice little tap. The open player, she's got time and space. Find that back corner. Goal. And with the six-goal advantage, the clock will continue to run. It just runs, yeah. And runs and, and runs. Yeah, it runs, and runs until it doesn't run anymore, until it's, it gets down to zero. Well, and it, barring injury, knock on wood. Knock on wood, that's yeah. right. Yeah. But that's about the only thing that will stop it once you get to a six goal advantage. And I, good news is Cardinals have not been in that position as many times this season as they have found themselves in in years past. Yes, absolutely. Uh, so small things you talk about the positives you take away 
And the positive may only be that you've got a lot of experience for a lot of younger yep. players. We talked about it all night long, the number of eighth graders getting varsity time this year does mean good things for the future. You've got, you know, some solid play from your four seniors, uh, and they will definitely be pieces that they will miss next year, and they will need other girls to step up and, and fill those roles. Uh, the roles of Sophia Bakri really being their catalyst on offense, uh, of Bailey Rao being uh, their their stopper and, and sweeper at the back end. Um, and we've seen Callie Alfin both uh, both positions tonight. We've seen her uh, playing on the back end. We've seen and doing so effectively. We've seen it up front. Those are the positives they take away. You're getting good play from young players down to the eighth grade level that are going to be here to help your program for the next several years. Yeah, and they've played well Bakery in spots. Is shot. Oh, oh just oh. misses one. That's a good shot there. They've, and they've played well in spots here tonight, too. I mean, they have played a little bit, you know, as you guys talked about at the end of that first half. Played a little better, mounted a little pressure, but just, you know, haven't been able to find the back of the net. And, and scoring does make things feel a little bit yes. better, no doubt. And uh, as we approach the end of this one, we've been here for 40, 80, 120, 150 minutes yep. of soccer yep. or so, so far tonight. Have not yet seen a Coon Rapids goal. Nope. No, uh, <laughs> math is always fun. Crew is going to be called for being offside again. Again, she's getting bumped she's into a little bit. Uh, Bashaw, greedy, a little bit. She she's getting anxious. Goal, she want, yeah, she wants to score again. She wants to score and put more score, or more more goals on the board. When as a coach, you got to love that, especially yep. from your captain being yep. aggressive. Nope, absolutely. Always wanting to compete. And she's been around the ball all night long. Yep, definitely so. And there she was again. The timer run this time. And there she is. Comes right back to her. A strong shot. Pasha able to make the save this time and hold on. Good opportunity there, Shaw. You mentioned knocking it to the to the ground to the turf and falling yeah. on it. Yeah, good for her. Get, get an experience. Yep, absolutely. Is your backup goaltender? You, shots. Yeah, you need that experience when you can. Oh, and did we mention she's also in eighth grade? Yeah. And another eighth grade. There she goes. Get out there and get that ball. That's it. And we talk about a lot, uh, obviously, a lot of different sports where. Uh, you see middle schoolers compete and effectively compete at the varsity level. Uh, it's more rare, I think, in the team sports. It's more likely to see you see them in cross country, right. in, in Nordic skiing, in swimming and diving, yep. um, in tennis, right. um, golf, golf. Yep. Those sports where uh, they can individually they can become. Uh, more competitive at the varsity level at a younger age, or a, or so it would seem. Uh, but to have this number of young players, and, and just to put it in perspective, if you had this many eighth graders trying to play football, oh, uh, yeah. it would it, it, it never it happen. Would, they they would all be injured yes. inside of the first half. Never right? happen. Um, yeah. right. Or or this many eighth graders. I mean, it would never happen. Right. And it, even in, in girls or boys hockey. Um, and there may be that they one. They would have to be just so outstanding right. in order to be on the ice and be able to compete yeah. that much above their grade level. Like a Rachel Bond of, of years past. She was like, Correct. She plays in yes. eighth grade. Yeah. Yes, she did. Yeah. And she was effective. And she was effective. Uh, yeah. Not as effective as she was later in her no, career. No, but as an eighth grader. Yeah. So impressive. Yeah, yeah. It's, that's rare. But to see that she will many be, eighth graders. She will be inducted into the Coon Rapids oh, Hall of Fame wow. uh, at this year's uh, induction ceremony. Really? Oh, good for Rachel. Rachel. Certainly deserves it. Rachel now Gensel. Oh. And uh, also Allie Haida. Very nice. A former uh, former girls soccer yep. player. And 
you bring that that name up, Rachel Bana. She was all state the one year that she played, she played soccer. soccer. Yeah, <laughs> one year. Yep. She played soccer. Uh, I don't remember if it was her so I think it was her sophomore, sophomore? year. Uh, but she played just one year, and I'm pretty sure she was all state. Yeah. Um, she was a she, she was, was a pretty athlete. pretty impressive athlete. But Allie Hyde also uh, a former Cardinal uh, tennis player or uh, soccer player. Yep. And, a big part. Of, I'm pretty sure she was a, a uh, captain in her time here. And uh, I just know that those two, there's at least one more being honored, and I don't remember who that was. Somebody, I where'd you see that? I didn't see from that. Behind, before our time. I didn't see I it. saw something at the office the other day. Uh, Very cool. But, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. It was last night when I was there doing sports. Ah. There was, we, had, uh, we had the little announcement. Very nice. So, but uh, yeah, to, as that all all came of the belaboring of my points, uh, <laughs> that you know, just the sheer number of eighth graders playing on a varsity roster in the Northwest Suburban Conference in girls soccer. I mean, it's just yeah, it's incredibly okay. rare. So. That's got to be your positive, and, and absolutely the the hardest part for for I th I would think, Coach Ben Benson, outside of trying to teach them at an accelerated rate uh, to get them up to that varsity speed, is just to maintain the positivity and and understand the process that they're they're going through, and understand that that po those are the positives that you have to hold on to even in a six nothing right, uh, right. loss on your home court on your home field to. Yeah. A conference rival, you have to be able to maintain positivity, yeah, understand right. the process, uh, and and not get down and not uh, you know get frustrated. Although obviously, it's when you're when in that, you, somewhat inevitable in a winless season when you're to, gonna, to get frustrated and to let emotions go. Yeah, when you're going to go to zero and twelve, it, it's difficult for the kids to say uh, you know hang their head a little bit and and not, uh, not be happy with their performance. But you're right. It's up to the coaching staff to say, you know what, we're building. We're trying to build for, for years to come. And uh, we may feel some pains here in the beginning, but we hope that those pains in the beginning lead to better, bigger and better things. And again, you can look at your team and say, there isn't another team in the conference, certainly, but maybe not in the state of Minnesota where we would have this many middle school girls Correct. on a varsity roster Correct. getting this much significant playing time well, yeah. and playing well. Yeah, no, absolutely. And that Here's Bakri an opportunity, but this shot is going to be stopped up by Kate Mulligan. Yeah, and the number one reason kids play sports is to have fun. Yep. So the key is, even if you're losing, you have to have, you find have to ways have to have some fun still. Just yep. put it in perspective yep. and have a good time. I mean, playing you, varsity soccer. You have to put it, yeah. think of putting things in perspective. You've, you've got four years, basically, and some don't have that that long to play varsity sports. And you're playing with your friends, and you want yeah. you want to make memories, and, and these are things you always, uh, you always hold close to your vest, close to your heart. Tapped in behind a chance of diving save for Bashaw. Yeah, good for her. But another, another nice save. Yep. After that little weak one went by, she stepped her game up. And it, and it can, you know, and, and knowing how, how goalies can be, <laughs> um, it may be that at the end of the night, that's all she's thinking about is that one. Oh, I'm sure it is. At the same time, makes very little difference in the overall outcome no but it's one it's one that she knows she shouldn't have given up true yeah but but and that's she's what made a couple of, the, she's made a couple of saves that maybe Agreed. she shouldn't have. agree the i one. don't disagree with you but it's the one that 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 you remember is the one that went through the through your legs that you know you should have stopped oh. but uh, she made it at the end of the first half with the one but she has having arms no saves she's really made great. some very good yeah. saves it's just that sometimes you want to say to yourself, I'd like to have that one back. Yeah. Well, fundamentally, and she'll, that's, and she'll that's work normal. on that. Yeah. She'll yeah, work on absolutely. that. I'll bet she'll never do it again. I bet you're right. That's okay. All about learning and mm -hmm. growing. Mm -hmm. Erickson settling. Hands it off for Bakery with speed down the left wing. Cuts back to the middle, finds a little bit of space. Shot from a long way out. Mulligan had to work for that save, but still able to 
hold on. Yeah. Valkyrie's had a, quite a few shots. She about has. About five. Nice cut back. Uses a screen coming up here. Goal to the keeper did her job. Just stayed in front of the ball. She wants a shutout, I'm sure. She, I'm sure she wants a shutout. Wold's pass intercepted by Zernicki, stolen right back by Sophia Bakri. Trying to look ahead for Jessica Erickson just a little too far. Jenica Erickson. Mm. Oh, good play. Good idea. Right there in that little sequence, you had three, four passes, finding open players. So they're building on things. See, well, we, they're getting there, but they have a ways to go to just kind of keep that process going. We talked about it in the first half. It was just like one or two passes, and yeah. then and they turn it over. At least if it's three or four, that's part of growing and part of playing a little better, yeah. and those will hopefully lead to some success, successful things. Yeah, and the good thing is there are people in the right spots. They were in the open seams, and they were seeing them and calling for the ball. Five minute mark here left in this one. See Avery Larson out on the field now, so I think all of their eighth graders, the youngsters, have made it in. Nice. Good. All five of them are on, have made at least one appearance. Some getting a little more PT than others. Their one freshman has been out there. Of course, all four of their seniors have played. That's no surprise. But uh, yeah, the youth, uh, the youth of this team is the hope. Absolutely. And is the positive. Yep, absolutely. That's what you hang your hat on. Sophia Bakri with another steal in the midfield. She's had a good game. Hassan plays it up the wing for Addison Erickson. Can't get around the corner and loses it out of bounds. Everything was still out for like 20 seconds. Long pass played behind the defense. The shot uh -oh. came out, uh, booted it away, and then from forever away, Camille Fryden gets her third of the game. That's what happens when you know you be aggressive. That's the one negative part about coming out of the net. You've got you leave all that opportunity, and uh, she made him pay on that one. Well, she did the right thing to come out. She yep. just didn't put the ball no, in the right the, spot. No, she yeah. did the right thing yeah. to come out. I'm just saying. That's the uh, the one drawback about coming out. Yeah, you don't want to put it there. You want to put it put it wide. But again, when you're young, you learn. Yep, absolutely. So a game that was tight through the first Offside. half yeah. uh, really turned into a it blowout. Did. Here in the second, very similar story to that of the boys. Yep. Boys losing 4 nothing 
in their contest with the Eagles. Girls now down 7 0 with two and a half to play. Well, the other team just kind of wore them down and just kept continuing to use their speed all game long. How they just kept, like right now, they're going to chip away and look for the through player. There's middle open. That's a little too far for Fryden. Cardin Cardinals able to clear it away. Yeah, as, as a defender, as a sweeper back there, there's nothing wrong with getting to that ball first and pounding it out of bounds. Just get her yeah, back to regroup. Push it wide. That's that's just what you need to do more of. It's just like that. Yep. Just, it's okay. Kick it out of bounds. Get regrouped. Yeah, Flores trying to force it out front. It was blocked out the end line. So corner kick upcoming. Let's see what they do this time. Okay, on the near post, two on the near post, and a couple in the middle, but they're not overly aggressive bringing everybody down. Bouncing around, finally ends up up and over out of play. Munsinger was looking for her third. Well, yeah, not every day you can get a hat trick. Under a minute to go. As we talked about, Cardinals will fall to 0 and 12. Yeah, it's tough. Just a handful of games remain. They will be back here on Thursday hosting St. Paul Johnson. Latino will move to 4 2 and 5 on the season. Yeah, only two losses. Yep. It's not a bad year nope. going for them. They, they would have loved to have turned some of those ties into wins, but definitely on the other side, not, not at the losses. So they'll take that. They'll take that. And, as you mentioned, only two defeats yeah, on the year. Long shot in, but shy able to make the diving save in the final seconds. Another <laughs> Good for her. diving save. Awesome. Keep it from I getting eight. I like that. Yep, I do as well. So she has a couple to hang her hat on at uh, the very end. But yeah, a rough, uh, rough finish for the Cardinals. For sure. Uh, they will host St. Paul Johnson on Thursday. The next week, they're on the road Monday against Park Center and Wednesday against Champlin Park. And that will be the end of the regular season. So uh, just a couple remaining on the calendar. Well, a few games left, see what they can do. Maybe try to sneak out a win next time out and then go from there. Yeah, if they could uh, win over St. Paul Johnson, get that win, because I think uh, the next two games will be tough. Uh, Park Center and Champlin Park. Well, Champlin Park for sure. But that is going to do it for this edition of CTN Sports. Again, the final score, it is Tatino 7, Coon Rapids 0. I want to thank everybody out there for joining us and continuing to support everything we do here at CTN for the entire crew, including Howie Shapiro and Jerry Grant. I'm Joe Young saying goodnight.